Why do IT or CAT form a trick? If we look at the Career Junction um, website, you can see that the IT jobs, there are 2,152. The next highest is 1,314 jobs, and that's in business and management. So there are tons of jobs in IT. If you look at the Fortune 100 best companies to work for in 2018, the top one is an IT company. The third one is an IT company. And the seventh is also an IT company. That's three in the top 10. In South Africa, um, there are four in the top 10. SAP is, in the, is number three, Microsoft number five, Orange Business Services number eight, and I mentioned data number 10, all software or IT companies. If you want to do IT for matric, I would recommend that you have a minimum maths mark of 60% and English of 60% as well. There are two components to the course, the programming side and then the theory side. In the programming course, we will teach you Java and SQL. Those are two programming languages. You'll learn to solve problems. You'll have to do lots of, lots of logical thinking. Sometimes you need to do very abstract reasoning. You'll learn to create algorithms and then you'll write code to cor correspond to your algorithms. Programming is the fun part. The girls who take IT usually enjoy their programming a lot. The programs that you write are interactive. Your programs respond to you. And it's actually nice because in an exam, you'll know if your program is correct or not because it runs or else it doesn't run. Object-oriented programming is a very widely used method of programming and you will learn to do this. You'll create classes with methods and variables. The Hoja is one of the tools we use to teach you about objects, and it's a lot of fun too. In IT theory, you'll learn about systems technologies. That's the hardware and software that runs on your computer. Internet and networking. The social implications, how lives have changed due to computers and data information management. Let's look at CAT now. It stands for Computer Applications Technology. This is a different subject to IT. It focuses more on the Microsoft Office's Office applications than programming. There is a tiny bit of programming in it, but it's more about learning to use Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Access more in depth. So you'll learn about all the little hidden functions and facilities that exist in these programs. Um, if you look at the ribbon at the top of your Word application, you will know what each of those little buttons does and what is available in them. You'll learn to create professional documents, spreadsheets and presentations, and you'll learn about databases. Examples I can give you are in Word, you'll learn about citations and then creating an automatic bibliography. You'll learn to do a mail merge, how to do forms. Forms are um, places or items that you can get people to fill in their details. CAT also includes HTML, which is a way of programming web pages. So if you were wondering, CAT does count towards your APS score for university. If you're wanting to go to university and you're worried that CAT is not designated, it, the, all the universities in South Africa do not mind this. As long as you have four other designated subjects in your choice of seven subjects for matric. And so I, I highly recommend CAT and I think that it's a very useful course. The CAT theory also looks at computer hardware and software. 
internet and networking, data collection and handling, and social implications. It's just um, less advanced, less in-depth than in IT.